a big shift in the large language model game has just happened. Not only has Anthropic always been a pretty good competitor to OpenAI, but now they just went ahead and actually shook the entire AI industry by releasing a very fascinating model, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is now the current state of the art in terms of AI models. This means that this is currently the best AI model you can use and interact with. But what makes Claude 3.5 Sonnet so revolutionary? Let's look into the features that have propelled this AI to the top. All right, let's get straight to the heart of the matter, the Claude 3.5 Sonnet. If you're unfamiliar with Claude's naming scheme, Sonnet signifies the mid-size model. This 3.5 version is a significant update. The incredible thing about the 3.5 Sonnet version is that it not only outperforms the previous Sonnet, but it also surpasses the Opus, which was Anthropic's top model until now. Claude 3.5 Sonnet is the new best model, and to top it off, it even outshines GPT-4.0. While GPT-4.0 boasts some multimodal capabilities, these features aren't yet available to the public. When it comes to large language model tasks, the most critical aspect is that Claude 3.5 completely outclasses GPT-4.0. Plus, it's entirely free to use, which is a huge deal. Meanwhile, the Anthropic blog post highlights just how impressive it is. It sets a new industry standard for intelligence, blowing past competitors and outperforming their previous flagship, Claude 3 Opus, all while maintaining the speed and cost efficiency of their earlier mid-tier model. And what is the best part? It's available for free on the Claude website, the iOS app, and through their API, which is great news for developers everywhere. Even more, Claude 3.5 features a 200,000 token context window, which is a step up from GPT-4.0. They even include a handy bar graph to show off these stats. It's not only way smarter, but also way more cost-effective than Claude 3 Opus. Talk about setting a high bar for yourself. But when it comes to performance, Claude 3.5 Sonnet is dominating every other model out there. This really blindsided me, especially since GPT-4 just dropped not too long ago. Llama, with its 400 billion parameters, is pretty impressive, and Claude 3 Opus was the reigning champ, neck and neck with GPT-4. But here's the fascinating thing. Sonnet isn't even Anthropic's biggest model. It's the second tier model. That means when they roll out their next update, things are going to get even better. Now, let's briefly talk about benchmarks. It crushes virtually all benchmarks against Opus and GPT-4. On the GPQA, the graduate level reasoning, Claude 3.5 Sonnet leaps ahead of GPT-4 by 6%. Okay, 5.9% if we're being exact. It scores 88.7% on the MML, 92% on the coding benchmark, 91.6% on multilingual math, 87% on reasoning over text, and a whopping 93% on the big bench hard. And don't forget, it hits 71.1% on the math benchmark, and an astonishing 96.4% on the grade school math benchmark. If this is just the mid-tier model, the next release is going to blow our minds. Benchmarks are great, but they're just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Claude 3.5. The new features are where things get really exciting. One standout feature is its killer reasoning skills, setting new industry benchmarks. In a demo, Claude 3.5 Sonnet helps a user craft a novel throwing out plot twists and info like a seasoned author. Early tests from many users state that this is unlike anything they've ever seen before. What's really intriguing is that Claude outputs a large amount of text in a separate box, letting you peek behind the curtain at what the model is up to while it's generating text. This slick user interface is fascinating, giving us a clear view of the model's inner workings. In another demo, Claude helps a user create a detailed diagram of relationships and character connections for a novel, showcasing its impressive capabilities. However, Claude has also earned accolades for its coding abilities, establishing itself as a top-tier free coding model. Its robust reasoning abilities enable it to generate precise responses to coding queries with impressive speed and accuracy. One standout feature is its advanced vision capabilities, in a demo, a user gives a lecture on the human genome, inputs two images, and asks Claude to transcribe the data in the JSON. Claude handles this task quickly and accurately. Anthropic has rolled out a product that is not only high-performing, 
but also speedy, with an excellent price-to-speed ratio. In another demo, Claude helps create a presentation in no time, highlighting its efficiency in workflows and new vision models. By combining different inputs, users can ask Claude to generate a variety of outputs, especially in coding, utilizing its powerful vision capabilities. Now, another crazy feature that Anthropic added is called artifacts. As I mentioned earlier, the Claude models always excelled at coding. But with the introduction of artifacts, they're even better than before. But what if you're not technical? What if generating code is of no use to you? A lot of us have tried to simplify things with tutorials, like just generate the code, skip reading it, and copy-paste it into another editor. But let's be honest, that's a nightmare for most people who don't code. Even for coders, it's a pain to keep jumping between your IDE and Claude. That's why tools like Cursor, where everything happens in one seamless interface, are a total game changer and have become insanely popular. But now, Anthropic is bringing these cool features to everyone. Get this, you don't need to know how to code to get stuff done. With the new Artifacts feature, you can do something like this. Generate a portfolio website for a lawyer. Simple, right? But it will start writing the code, and you'll see a screen full of code. And if you're still clueless here, just wait. It will then switch to a preview mode. Right there in the interface, you can see the website click buttons, move around, and manage multiple projects at once. If you need the code, you can copy or download it any time. But if you don't want to mess with it, you don't have to. The chat stays on the left side for easy access. Meanwhile, applications like Dev1 have this kind of interface, but one thing was missing. It wasn't available to the public. If you're not familiar with the setup, Claude has made it available, bringing them together seamlessly. That means that you can chat on one side, code editor, and preview on the other. When it comes to ChatGPT, you'll be spending twice as long because of all the copy-pasting and tweaking. But with Claude, everything just clicks. As their demo videos and many people online have shown, it's not just limited to websites. You can build simple games and create graphics. Do it all with this little interface. You've probably seen a million benchmarks for creating a snake game in an LLM. Now you can try it yourself. No code editor is needed. For example, a user asked Claude to create an 8-bit star crab, and it did so in no time. Then, they wanted seashells in the same style, and boom, Claude delivered. This led to a working game, showing how Claude's interface is evolving. One surprising aspect of this model is its price-to-intelligence ratio. Claude 3.5 Sonnet offers a higher level of intelligence at the same price as Claude 3 Opus signaling a trend of getting more bang for your buck. This rapid improvement is intriguing, especially since Claude 3 Opus was held in high regard until recently. Anthropic also talked about agentic coding features. Claude 3.5 Sonnet nails 64% of problems on their internal agentic coding test, compared to just 38% for Opus. This test checks how well a model can understand an open source code base and make a pull request based on a natural language description. Claude 3.5 Sonnet performs almost twice as well as Claude 3 Opus in a secure, sandboxed environment without internet access. Looking ahead, if Claude 3.5 Sonnet is such a big leap from Claude 3, imagine what Claude 3.5 Opus will bring. Anthropic aims to improve the balance between intelligence, speed, and cost every few months. They plan to release Claude 3.5 Haiku and Claude 3.5 Opus later this year, which should show even more dramatic improvements. Anthropic is also working on new features and capabilities to support more business use cases, including integrating with enterprise applications. They're exploring features like memory, which will allow Claude to remember a user's preferences and past interactions, making the experience more personalized and efficient. So get ready for some amazing updates and upgrades from Claude. They're pushing the boundaries beyond our imagination. What do you think about all these AI innovations? Let's hear your thoughts via the comment section. And hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this.